everybody, girls too. <laughs> Thank you so much for 430,000 subscribers. I'm 70,000 away from 500k. I think it's gonna be achievable. Like I think we could potentially get it before summer if I really put in work and bang out good videos. And I'm excited for this video. The title, I should address that. Am I throwing shade? To be honest, I don't really watch that many life hack or DIY videos, but I clicked on one the other day and <laughs> the girl said before her life hack, not sure if this works, it's my first time trying. I was like, no! So I decided I wanted to make a video of my own showing tips that I've used for years and years and years. They are beauty, decor, and food related. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're already subscribed, put me on notifications. And without further ado, let's get on to the video. 10 life hacks that I've actually used many times before filming this video. Bottle vases. Very self-explanatory. Wine bottles, beer bottles, even olive oil bottles, they all make fantastic flower vases. To core tip number two, brush or pencil holder. Open a can of soup, rinse out the can, let it dry, place your makeup brushes or your pencils inside. Keychains. For the longest time, I left my house keys on this small little ring, and I liked it because it took up hardly any space in my bag. However, it would take me forever to find them. Getting even a slightly cumbersome keychain made it so easy to find my keys even if they were in like the depths of the bottom of my bag. The dangly earring holder. If you have a candle that's burned all the way or a wine glass that you're not using anymore, use it to store your earrings. Cold spoons. If you wake up in the morning looking stung because you ate too much salt, you slept on your face, or maybe you just get puffy eyes when you're tired, put cold spoons on your face to bring the swelling down. It's best to put them in the freezer the night before, but if you forget, don't worry about it, they freeze fairly quickly. Apply it to your face and the swelling will go down. Neosporin cream. Not the ointment. If you're like me and you cannot let a zit stay on your face without messing with it, Meet your new best friend. Put a dab of Neosporum on your pig zit and let it sit there. If you're not doing anything for the day, like leave the actual glob of Neosporum on the cut. But if you're about to go to bed or if you're in, you know, about to put on makeup, then rub it in a little bit. But I'm telling you, if you just let the glob sit on your, your cut or zit, within a few days, it will be healed without a scar. I've been doing this since middle school. Vicks Vapor Rub. It's cold and flu season, crazy weather outside. Vicks Vapor Rub is a cough suppressant cooling cream. So wherever you apply it to your body, it's going to cool that area. So I recommend rubbing it on your chest and rubbing it on your feet before bed. And I promise it will feel so good. Frozen grapes. These by themselves are a fantastic snack. They taste like bite-sized popsicles. Recently I've discovered that if you put them in your wine, it keeps your wine chilled and it works so much better than ice because it's not going to dilute the flavor. The frozen banana. Typically people add ice in their smoothie to keep it cold and they'll add yogurt in their smoothie to make it creamy. However, ice dilutes the flavor of your smoothie. Don't use ice. Always frozen fruit. Always frozen fruit. A banana is a really good replacement for yogurt. So, if you freeze the banana, it's the perfect solution. The peanut butter and jelly bite. So one of my favorite late night snacks, I'll just take a spoon and I'll scoop half of it with jelly and the other half with peanut butter and just have that as a bite. And it's really good as a late night snack because the volume of the food is very small because it's so calorie dense. So it'll keep you full, but it's not gonna actually fill your stomach up because when you're going to bed, you don't really need a full stomach. So it's a nice little late night treat. Good stuff, right? All so self-explanatory, but you probably were watching this like, fuck, I had soup for dinner. I totally need a makeup brush holder. And thank you so much for the positive feedback on my last video. I was hella nervous to upload that because it's not as cutesy as the other ones. With the positive feedback, it made me think that I can make more videos like that and so I want to. Like I said, trying to hit 500k subscribers so I gotta up my video game, I gotta put out more! And I love you guys, I'll see you next week in my next video.